Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome. I was in Joann's recently picking up some yarn to make some plushies and I came across this wooden dowel and I thought to myself I could make a really cool like garland type of DIY with this. Some backstory, my bedroom is black. The walls are black. The reason the walls are black is because when we got this place and we were painting, I told my boyfriend, you can have one room where you can pick all the colors because I wanted everything else to be white. And he was like, I want our bedroom to be black so that I can sleep better. And I was like, fine. The problem is, is I don't know how to decorate with a black bedroom. I tried to get like beige and like lighter color stuff. So the furniture in there is white and beige. I want to bring some more color in, particularly greens and like pinks, yellows, whatever. So back to this dowel. Um, so I came across this dowel at Joann's. It was like $2. And I thought to myself, I can make like a garland, a crochet one at that, where I just like hang it off and it has leaves and little crochet flowers. And then I could put it above our bed because that's where I want it. But above our bed has zero artwork. It's just black. Our headboard is like a beigey color. Um, so this will bring a pop of color and it'll be really easy to do and I can use the yarn that I already have because that is a big thing for me. I just go out and buy more yarn when I already have tons and tons of yarn that I should be using up. So let's go over to my yarn cabinet and see what we can use. So this is my yarn cabinet. I also got to my dog. Say hello! He's sleepy. So as I was saying, there's, ugh, it's so messy, I should have cleaned up beforehand, but you know what it is, what it is. But this is where I keep all my yarn. Um, this is like a really cheap cabinet from Ikea, but it does the job. I need to organize this. It is so messy in this cabinet. It's kind of insane. Like I just shove everything in here and I am like, whatever. And because I shove everything in here, I kind of know where everything is. So I just never organize it. I should organize it though. This is a mess. But anyway, I want to use down here like this green. Oh my God, it's so tangled. That is a later me problem. But I want to use this green for like the, what is it called? The stems, the stems. And then for the flowers, I want to use like um, maybe yellow and pink. So I have this pink I want to use up. There's not that much left. Maybe this pink I want to use up. And then I have a yellow. I have this yellow, small amount of yellow that I want to use up. And then also maybe purple. This is not, <laughs> this is, no, this is, I need to clean this. So these are the colors that I want to use for the flowers. I think this would be nice. And then with the stem, so it'll give like a pastel vibe, which I think will go great against the black background. I don't know how I'm going to make this. I'm gonna wing it, to be honest. Do you want to help me? Do you want to help me? I don't think he has interest in helping. So something that I also use a lot for my craft projects is this. Ta-da! My boyfriend got this for me for Christmas and it holds all of my craft stuff and this part comes off. It holds all the small things and then inside is a mess. But it does the job and I really, really love it. For this project, this yarn typically uses like a four to five millimeter crochet hook. But my friends got me these lovely resin hooks for my birthday last year. So I want to use those. I think I'll probably use the five millimeter. But this yarn, I feel like six might be too big. I'm gonna, ugh, I'm gonna do, I was gonna say, I'm gonna do like a swatch to see how big it'll be, but I don't, <laughs> I don't know if I'll even be able to find the end of this. Okay, so what had happened was I had a project I was working on in this yarn and I never finished it. And I realized that I don't finish projects um, if I don't actually like what I'm making. Therefore, this was, I feel like I'm making it worse. Therefore, this was never finished. Therefore, therefore, um, I frogged the whole thing. And that's why um, the yarn is like this. Should I have winded it, wounded it, put it back together into a ball? 
probably, but did I? No. So now we're stuck with this, and this is amazing. I love this for me. I'll be so honest, I'm too lazy to untangle all this, so. <laughs> and then, um, if I really need to use this yarn again, I will untangle it, but it's going away for now. We have the dowel. I have my new yarn. So either I figure out how to attach this to the dowel right away, or I make the vines or whatever these are going to be separately and then tie them. I think I might do that. Let's do that first. <laughs> Small update here, so I've made some test strands and I've tied them to the rod and this is currently what it looks like. Um, this one is a little long. I think I have to pay a little more attention to the lengths that I'm making these, but I think it looks very, very pretty so far. And then when I'm done at the end, I have to do all the flowers and attach them onto here. But look, it's like a magical plant forest. A long time I have been procrastinating this project but I'm finally done with the vines okay and also don't mind my appearance just got out of the shower I am breaking out it is what it is but look vines vines so very cute I made them let me see if I can scoot back I made them all different lengths with different amount of leaves and stuff like that so now the next step is to figure out what flowers to put on these. I'm just gonna go on Pinterest to look because let's be real, that's where we find inspiration. I had someone in my comments mention a wisteria flower. I have no idea what those look like, but I'm going to look them up. And my light just died, perfect. We'll, we'll just go on without it. Ooh, okay, these ones are pretty. These wisteria are actually really nice. These wisteria look so nice. I don't know how you could put them Oh my God, look, it's like a similar thing with the vines. But I don't know how you could put them with like the vines I already have made or I would have to make them separately. But these are a really, really good idea. I love the purple. I'm just gonna search crochet flowers and see what comes up. Crochet flowers. I do like the lily of the valley. I think those are cute. They're kind of like bell shaped though and I don't know if I want those. Maybe if I put like flat. I don't want them super 3D. I could do the daisies. These ones are cute. I guess these are daisies, but these are really, really cute. Maybe those, and they seem simple enough to make. I think I'm gonna do a combination of wisteria plus one of these like generic flower, <laughs> flower things. I think this will look really, really cute and give it some variety and I can mix and match the colors pretty easily. I think this will be doable. So I don't have a pattern. I might look up a pattern for the wisteria one, but for like these generic ones, I might just eyeball it. So we shall see. Let's get started. These are the colors that I chose for my flowers that I'm going to be using. Um, they need to be caked because they are so messy. Oh, stretching. Oh, he's checking it out. Oh, hi Soju. I have my yarn winder over there. So let me cake these and then I guess we'll just try to do, try to make flowers out of these. I finished my first flower. I just kind of eyeballed it, but I think it's cute. It's kind of small. Maybe I'll make bigger ones, but if I put it up like this, I was thinking like I'd have a leaf here and then like a ignore all of the, 
all the excess yarn, like a leaf here and then a flower like here. Actually, I think this is a good size. I'm, I'm going to make a gajillion more of these in different colors. Okay, bye. I'll, I'll see you soon. Attaching and making all of these flowers honestly took a really, really long time. So I had to make each one by hand. And I think each vine had two to three flowers on it. And then afterwards I would go in, you know, weave in the end, sew them onto the vines and yada, 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 repeat, rinse and repeat for every single vine. I think I maybe made 20 or 30 flowers in total which did take a long time, but the end result was so, so worth it. And I love how it turned out. This test piece, I was already super hyped for. It looks good. Hi, checking up here. First of all, sorry for the audio. My microphone died and I can't find the part that plugs into my phone. So we're just going to have to use the phone mic, but this is the progress so far. Oh my God, it's stuck. Okay, I've gotten the flowers on it. It looks so whimsical and pretty so far. I love it. Love, love, love it. The issue is I've run out of the yellow yarn because <laughs> I've been using scrap yarn to make the flowers. So I was just rummaging through my scrap yarn cabinet or my yarn cabinet. And I found this pink, which is a different shade of pink than this. So I hope it'll be okay. The only other light color I have is orange, but I hate the color orange. So I don't want to put it on this because this is going to go over my bed and I want only colors that I like. Okay. So I'm going to use this, this coral color. Hopefully I think it'll turn out fine. It'll turn out good. But this is coming out so pretty so far. I love it. Love, love, love. So fast forward to the next day, I'm sitting in an awkward part of my room because um, I can hang this from my cat tree, but I finished putting all the flowers on. I feel like this is like the best angle I could get for this, but isn't it so nice and it's so cute. I think I'm going to add some white or like this pinky coral color wisteria, maybe just a few pieces, three or four, um, just to flesh it out a little bit but it looks so pretty. I love it so far. Time to make some wisteria. I got a tutorial off of TikTok um, and I'm just gonna follow that. Hopefully it won't take me too long because honestly, even though as much as I love this, I want it to be done. I, I wanna start a new project. I have the itch to do something new. I've been working on this for like two months now. So um, to be honest, it shouldn't have taken me two months. I just got lazy. Woohoo, wisteria time! Back at my desk because where else would I be? Let's be real. I think I'm gonna make the first one out of white. I have, this is the only yarn that I have left is the coral, like this pink, white, and like the tiniest bit of blue. I ran out completely of the yellow and purple. So if you look on the finished piece at the end, there's like no more yellow and then slowly there's no more purple. And then I start bringing in the coral, it's whatever. I think that only I would notice that, or if maybe if you're psychoanalyzing it, you would notice that, but it's not that big of a deal for me. It's okay. Um, it'll be fine. I feel like the wisteria should look pretty. I'm only planning to do a few. I really just want to make the first one to see what it looks like because a part of me wants to keep the, I'm staring at the piece right now. Part of me wants to keep the piece the way it is. And a part of me wants to add a little extra. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. So I'm gonna make this first test one out of white um, and see what it looks like and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'm halfway through. Oh! I hit the camera. I'm halfway through and I hate it. It looks like cottage cheese. I don't think I'm gonna do it. I, I actually really love the piece the way it is now, so I'm just gonna keep it there. I gotta figure out how to hang it. I, I was thinking command strips, but I also don't want the command strips to show. So I have to brainstorm a little bit. We'll see. I found these command strips, the Velcro ones, um, and I'm just going to attach it here above my bed. Ta-da! I think it'll look good. I hope it'll look good. Up on the wall it goes. I don't have a level. Um, I really, the fuck? 
Um, I really should have gotten a, I look huge. I really should have gotten a level um, that would have been really helpful, but I didn't. And I can't change that now. So I'm just going to eyeball it. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Like that, like here. You can kind of see the white, but it's not that bad. And ta-da, this is the final project. It's a little small. Granted, my headboard is very, very big. But I think it looks so good and it adds color to my room, which I really, really wanted. And also, it pops against the black wall. Um, yes, my room is black. But <laughs> I think it looks great. Yeah, it is a little tiny compared to the whole width. But, I mean, if I had a painting, it'd probably be like the same size. I, I don't know. It, it's my bed. It's my project. I like it. Do as you will. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun making this, and I'm so glad it's up. If it falls, I will get nails, and I will nail it to the wall. But the command strips work for now. But yes, thank you so much for watching. I very much appreciate it. And let me know what type of projects you guys want to see me do next. I'm thinking a checkerboard picnic blanket. That's been on my radar for a while. Um, but yeah, see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye.